Yo yeah and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I'm gonna show you how to install textures for this game using Reserap and it's actually pretty easy. Here you can see Cal Kestis with a military bust cut and some facial hair. He um, has brown hair and uh, darker skin. I personally like this one much more. He looks a bit like Starkiller, really badass. And I can personally identify with this appearance much more than with the original one. Now here you can see the second one. Here he has the normal hair just uh, in brown and also some added facial hair. First of all, we need to download the mod on Nexus Mods. There are different textures and you just uh, need to create an account and then you can easily download the textures. And yeah, I used the better call Cal mod, which is really good. And um, yeah, just click on menu roll download and um, yeah, I already did it. And for that, we need a program to add these textures to the game, which is called Resorap. You can download it easily on this website here. And um, we need to uh, install two other programs to run Resorap. Um, Microsoft Visual C++. You can download it here. You can also change the language here. And um, yeah, just Make sure to download the 64-bit version and the next file is um, for the Java SE Runtime 8.0. Download the Windows x64.exe. Uh, uh, make sure to um, accept the user license agreement and maybe you need to create an account which is also free and yeah these are the files you downloaded and just install those two and then we can finally start Resurrap and yeah this is the folder of Resurrap then you go into Windows 10 and here you just uh, right click, open as, and then you click on Java Platform SE Binary and yeah, it should work. Wait a second and yeah. First of all, you gotta add the application. Make sure to add the starsjudaphoneorder.exe file, click on open, 64-bit, and maybe you get an error, uh, not this error, um, which tells you that you need a DLL file, and this one is also in the Vinra archive, um, here you can see it, dx11proxy64.dll. You just need to drag it into your system32 folder of Windows. Um, yeah, just add it, nothing special. And then it works. Maybe you need to re restart the Resurrap program. Here you can add the folder where you can uh, save the modded texture files. And yeah, here you can see my folder and now it's pretty easy. You just need to unpack the Vinra archive of your texture and put it into this folder. And um, one important thing, you can only add one uh, file or one texture into it. And if you want to change it, just put it into your uh, folder, just like me and then put the other texture 
back into your model texture folder to change your skin. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. It's not that difficult and respect to the creator of the mod. I really, really love it. Um, it's also uh, in the cutscenes and yeah, he's just badass. <laughs> I just love it. What do you think about it? There are also different other ones. And what kind of mods would you like to see? Uh, I'm not a mod creator, um, but I'm interested in what you would like to see. And yeah, I think we gotta wait for two months to have some real serious mods or models like Darth Maul. And yeah, I hope you liked it. Maybe we're gonna see us in the next part. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask me. I have a Discord server, you can join it. I play a lot of Star Wars The Old Republic and yeah. See you in the next part. Come on, like and ciao.